Warning, the following video may or may not be total shit for a number of varying reasons, uh, including but not limited to the requirement to wipe the hard drive of my computer, the reinstallation of the entire operating system, trying out Adobe Premiere Pro, and health issues like hypochondria and this fucking twinge in the back of my neck. Probably just muscular, but uh, I can never be sure. In any case, please enjoy the video, and I apologize if it's total crap, but I wanted to get an upload out. Good evening, gentle ladies and men. You may not have heard from me in a long time, because recording is time-consuming, and it's work, and I'm not up to doing work. So, gonna get back into it. Apologies for the um, somewhat somber attitude, but uh, hypochondria and anxiety and a pairing totally suck. So, there's that. I'm going to be worrying about myself the entire time I'm recording. Fuck it, let's do it live. Alright, so as you can see, I created a new world. I have this fucking nutso crafting setup, which... Eh, it works for what it's worth. I created this giant thing. Giant GSO wheels. I really need to stop making so many varying parts because they're just gonna... They're just gonna make it... They're gonna paint themselves into a corner when it's time to put in more factions. Speaking of more factions, I've got Hawkeye to look in on as... Uh, the quest in the top right, Bird of Prey, might elude. Sometimes I wonder about these magnets. Like, they help for light cleanup, but bringing stupid amounts of stuff back? Uh, it's it's an ass. It's, it's a chore to bring all this stuff back from wherever I was. And trying to get everything off the magnets is just bleh. They made a lot of progress with the game since we last met. Oh crap! No, I I thought the <laughs> I thought the quest was in this direction. No, it's all the way over there. I should be looking at my mini map. Purple zone. Oh fuck. Yeah, I made a base in the uh, one of the new mountains biomes just because hey there's geothermal energy to be gained from the stuff out here son of a bitch unfortunately it ends up giving me situations like this where i have to use my boosters to launch over shit what a mess not much to salvage either oh yeah and here come the evil assholes Hit me, I dare you, hit me. Shields holding. Oh, no, they're not. They are not holding in the slightest. At least this time I put my magnets up near the top of my craft so that, um... So that they stay up and out of the way of my guns when they fire. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to go ahead and get my secondary SU storage out. Because otherwise, I am not making it home. Oh, great. They're all underneath me. No! Get... No. No? This sucks. I'm probably going to cut this out. Do the thing. Do the windy thing. If I can't get back up this, I'm just gonna... No. I can't. I'm just gonna use the build beam to uh, hop up over it the best I can. Sliding sideways into my dick. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, that's a problem with these wheels. If they hit anything with sufficient velocity, they just they just pop off. They just pop right off. I gotta be right on top of my battery capacity, otherwise they just go away. Fuck. Oh, do me, you ass! There we- or not. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Turbo. Yeah! The pacemaker has the ability to speed up or slow down your construction. I don't know why you'd want to slow it down, honestly. It's almost cartoonish. Yo! Eat tendix! Eat tendix! There. All good. Now bring it back. I may have to build- oh. Oh, there's a giant AI drone that I can use. That's fine. Sure, let's use that. Because the mini mortars, even though they're fixed, have a little bit of homing capability now so that they're actually useful. Which is nice. Why do enemies have a tendency to spawn right next to your base? Also, they said they were going to be taking away a lot of the exploitative uh, high DPS uh, frame rate destroying gun walls and megaton pyramids out of the game. But I haven't really noticed. I mean, I haven't gotten to megaton cannons, but a lot of the designs seem to have stayed the same. Just a whole bunch of guns, like I have here, a whole bunch of guns on a step pyramid so that you can get the most DPS in the smallest amount of space. And really, that's the meta. Why, why build anything else? Which is appalling. I hate the meta. I'm not... I'm not advocating, yes, please go and do what the meta prescribes, but... It's... It's really the only thing you can do a lot of the time, because... The meta is what everyone's going to be doing. And I see this everywhere. Battlefield 1, which is why I haven't been playing that. Where is your other thingy? Oh. Oh, it's, it's dead. Good. Inhale! Alright. As short as it was, I think that's enough action for today, because I am genuinely feeling ass. So, um... I suppose I'll see you around. At least I have the capacity to make videos again. Maybe I'll stream on sat this Saturday. The Saturday of the 2nd of September is probably when I'm going to be streaming next. I just got to get all my uh, assets back. Because all that got deleted in the uh, crash. Thanks Windows 10 for that, by the way. With your stupid shell. I had a I had a custom skin on and the shell just died on the update. But, um, yeah. Uh, have a great day. Most definitely a better one than me. Um, and enjoy your time and stay fractally. Wait. Stop the presses. This is a day after... This is the day after the last recording. So, I'm feeling... Bleh, still. But I realized something. After I quit the recording. You deserve more. You, as the people of my channel who have loyally stayed subscribed to me despite me not uploading jack shit for the past... I don't know, fucking year? It doesn't matter how long. But you stayed loyally subscribed. You deserve more. And I'm not gonna let some psychosomatic bullshit that I can't control get in my way. And so, an encore performance. <laughs>
Where were we? Besides charging my giant thingy. Uh, dispose of the hooligans. This should be fairly simple considering... Oh crap, that's right. I can get Hawkeye missions now. I'm gonna have to go and do that. But first, the most pressing matter is getting around there. <laughs> it's going to be a bitch. I parked out in the middle of this mountainous region because there was a nice flat spot right next to a geothermal vent. And I thought that would be a smart idea, but considering the trading station is right close to here, on top of a fucking mountain, which for some reason I didn't see coming because of course I lack foresight, um... Yeah, I have to go around and climb up a fucking mountain every time I want to go and get missions. Which is a bitch! It's a bitch! Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna take these blocks back. Gotta go around a little bit because otherwise the blocks get sucked into the side of my base and get stuck. And that's no fun. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've shown you the method via which I get up here, but, um, I'm gonna show you again because it's, it's, it's pleasant, but it's a little bit like trying to drive on those mountain roads in fucking Africa or wherever. Uh, and that's why I have the boosters on it. I have jet boosters on this thing so I can climb up hills a little bit better because this bitch is heavy. I used a lot of Geocorp big yellow blocks on this thing, and of course, that adds to weight, and it's it's not the greatest idea. You'll also notice, I think I did this last time, by which I mean the recording yesterday, but I lowered the magnets a fair amount. Oh shit, there goes my booster fuel. Ah! Yes! Tech Hunter 1. Vroom vroom, bitch. Which means... And, and you can do other... You can do other missions while you're doing the Hawkeye hunting missions. So you can just get... You can just get more than one uh, quest done at a time. It's actually fairly useful. I desperately need to get rid of this big one in the back, because otherwise I'm just going to keep hitting it on the ground, because it lowers itself down a little bit. Oh yeah, I remember this. I can't jump this. Hey! 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 Stop! Whoa, frame rate is absolutely fucking tanking. Oh my god, there it goes! Yeah. The fellow over there with the stupid amounts of guns and lackadaisical proportions is just, uh... Oh my goodness! Back up, back up! Time to escape! Oh shit, there goes a wheel. I'm sorry, there goes two wheels! Yes! Three wheels! Want to lose me anymore? Come on! I still have, like, what, five? I still have five to lose! Ah.
call that getting swindled and pimped. I call that getting tricked by business. We may actually be able to... We may actually be able to get some use out of... The... What? The big... Three-headed fucking Cerberus drill. That's it. It's it's the Cerberus light bore. Even though it's not that light, it's it's pretty goddamn big for what it's worth. The club's going up on a Tuesday. <laughs> I think I think this is the best I'm gonna be able to do. Fuck. All right. So now we have big strong wheels up in front. Oh, yeah. These are the experimental, um... Oh, wow. That's really fucking off-kilter. I can't have it like that. That's better. There. Now, now it's more, uh... Now it's more stable. That looks really fucking doofy, but I'll take it. I will take it. Ugh. Oh. Mm. So what we got up front now is the giant experimental branch um monster truck wheels and of course i get access to the stuff because i i bought into it early and i got the r d pack um now with these they are described as quote unquote the daddy which i find hilarious and they're of course fuck massive they have stupid amounts of uh, tractive power. They have a lot of torque behind them. And of course I got the uh, big boy wheels, which are my second favorites. Well, they're my second favorites now. Because we got these. Actually, even better, we have the Titan truck wheels. The real daddy! <laughs> oh, I find that absolutely amazing. It's, it's this stuff where, fuck it, I don't care if it sounds stupid, it's, it's just a bit of fun. These, these things have extra bouncy suspension, which I like, extra bouncy smooth ride suspension, like the Muddy Dog wheels, except they're not awful. These are not awful. Now, what I'm hoping is that these giant ass monster truck wheels are going to be used with a new faction possibly the um possibly the guys who make everything out of scraps because it would make a little bit of sense i'm not entirely sure how uh, heat coils uh, and clothes I am a great magician. Your clothes are red. Ralph. Hmm. Pardon. Today's beverage is big red. Red cream soda. Tastes nothing like cream soda. Oh, wow. Is... Oh. Oh, boy. Am I... Oh. I was genuinely stuck on the crest there. My ground clearance is a little bit too... Little bit too high. Or rather, it's a little bit too low. But thankfully, with these big ass balloon tires and these big ass tires in back, I don't entirely need the rocket thrusters because the the tractive force of the wheels is taking everything in stride. Which I like. It's very handy. What are you doing? Thank you. What is that? Alright, so I've got three techs down for Tech Hunter now. That I find amusing. Now, my biggest fear is that one of these days I'm gonna take a huge hill that the crawler will just flip backwards. Like I fucked up climbing at Moab or some shit. Now, as you may see, the uh, I'm, I'm running on the experimental build currently, so I've got access to a few extra things like uh, the. SU on the side of the thing here. 
which opens up at level 2. That is, GSO level 2. But sometimes blocks get stuck on the top of it because the collision box is a little bit fucky. I already sent in a bug report, no need to thank me. I actually sent in like two bug reports relating to that. Because the big... If, if a block is like two by two or wider, like generally rule of thumb, it won't always take blocks that are bigger than one by one. Oh my God, it is just going up. It is just going 90 degrees. That is amazing. I love it. Now, of course, because there is no uh, designated experimental version of the uh, t store terminal that you can get, you can get a GSO, Geo, Venture, I think Hawkeye, yeah, Hawkeye, uh, block store terminals, which you can get. There is no designated experimental branch one, so I wouldn't be able to get these tires again. I can't even craft them because, again, Experimental Tree does not have its own... It does not have its own crafting blocks or, um... Or its own... Whatever. Now, a problem I have with magnets is that, um... Sometimes... It will suck a block up underneath your tech, yeah, like this. And then it will cause the physics to block out by flipping your tech up. Because the block wants to go up towards the magnet, right? It's like that troll physics thing where it's like, oh, you can make a perpetual motion thing by... Or you have your car, and then you have a magnet in front of your car, and then you have a magnet on a pole attached to the front of your car, aiming at the other magnet. And it just goes forward because the car wants to... And it doesn't work that way, of course. It's, it's a little bit like that, except in this game, the physics have limitations to the point where it actually works like that. It's, it's Unity. It does weird things. I can't blame the devs for that. It's just an engine limitation. Holy shit, you can see it right now. Please, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back the fuck up. Club's going up on a Tuesday. Oh shit, my uh, my front right tire is not liking this. I do believe, I do believe I have to. I have to go back and recharge. You see, this is the annoying part about this game right now. Ah, oh, fuck. Level 3. Can I even get batteries at level 3? The big Geocorp batteries? Can I even get those at level 3? I can't remember. I'd love to. I would really love to. But I will... I, I don't know. I just don't know. The bolts are in... Oh, shit. Yeah, there goes my tire. Oh, well. It was fun for a little while, but now I'm fucked. Son of a bitch! This is what I was afraid of! Ass! Oh well. Still got that Titan truck wheel. I really should have just gone back and recharged. Whatever. But it's so hard to get back up here is the thing. Now, what you have right now is... This neat innate ability to take to take refined resources, not not like raw resources. You have to refine them down to do this. You can take refined resources, and you can compress them into these blocks for easier transport, and you can stick them to your craft. I don't know why you'd want to. I don't know why you'd want to stick them to your craft, but they have attachment points for that. I, I guess if you want to like decorate your craft or something. Um, the point is, you stick them in your SCU and you just have them. So you can just pull them out 
and you can store them for whenever you really need them. I want to see if coming at this guy at a different angle is going to help me any. I don't think it is. I, I really should stop playing with fate and just recharge. Yeah, see? I'm just taking hits left and right. Fuck it, I'm going back to recharge. It's like... What is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting the different result. Eh, it's kind of what I'm doing right now. No, it is what I'm doing right now. I'm expecting a different result by going at this guy with no shields and healing capability. And I'm losing stupid amounts of blocks and I'm expecting, ah, it won't happen this time, I swear. You know what I should do? I'm thinking I should make a smaller tech. I'm thinking this this thing requires too much battery power, too much shit. I I even lost one of my shield blocks. That's just great. This this requires too much too much BSing. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a new one. You see the unfortunate thing about the Foreman GPR cab is that I can't hide it. This one the, the standard one that you get from GSO has an attachment point on the front. It has attachment points on all sides. This one just has attachment points on the top and the back, and that's it. I, I can't do anything with that. Because I have, I have my... I have my command... I have my command cab deep inside here. So that it doesn't get hit by splash damage or anything. <laughs> With one of these, I I have to like finagle some weird shit by having it in here and then having it attached to blocks around the front by like blocks on the side. I have to go around it. And I I genuinely don't like that. Even the venture cab has that problem. And, uh, I have my turret. I'm, I'm gonna swap to this, and then I'm gonna just send blocks to inventory. <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna make something small, light, and generally capable, I'm going to say. I can't even remember how that goes. It's covered in guns. You know what? This'll do me. And it's somewhat energy efficient. So yeah, let's go. Let's go kick some ass. Four. Holy shit! Almost 40 minutes! Oh, man. Uh, Alright, you know what? In that case, I'm going to suck all this up, and I'm going to call it quits here. And then I'm going to go edit the video.
Um, if you enjoyed, please subscribe, like, etc. Comment, share it to your friends, etc. But most of all, stay fractally. I, I just want to record one last little bit to show off the insane vi insane newfound viability of these mortars. Look, he's trapped down there, and I'm just going to sit up here, and look how they curve towards the target. That's beautiful. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. It's, it's four stars. Best in the city. Zing it!